Hey, Scott, we've asked you so many times about Bradley Beal not getting the respect in all-star voting. What was your reaction to seeing him leading Eastern Conference guards in fan voting? I thought it was very cool. Well-deserved. The guy is one of the best players in basketball. Guards, forwards, center, doesn't matter. He's, a, he's, a, he's an all-pro player. Uh, it was great to see. You know, he's getting the recognition from the, the fan vote. It's huge. Hopefully that continues. Uh, he deserves to be on the team. Uh, regardless of our record, how he's led and how he's uh, continued to get us moving in the right direction. And we still got some time to improve that record before the game, as we all obviously know. And then secondly, uh, Rui the other day said he's been watching a lot of film to try to learn uh, personnel for defense. And back when we used to go to practice, we see him watching film with coaches all the time. How, how would you describe his approach to film study as a young player? I think it's um, all of our players need to improve on it. Uh, we, we send clips out, we send edits out, and they need to, they need to watch it. Uh, and we know who watches it and who doesn't watch. Um, but all of our guys need to improve. It's a, it's, a, it's a physical game and it's a mental game. And you just can't work on the physical part and, and ne neglect the, the, the mental part of it. Because these players are so good. If you can get a little bit of an edge, it can help the physical part. And, and video games are fun, but it doesn't pay the bills. And a lot of the, a lot of the players nowadays, they want to play video games and you could spend some time with doing that, but you gotta, you gotta take care of your business first. And I, I think a lot of our younger players need to learn how to uh, put the priorities and, and watch more game film. And we're working on it. Uh, and I think they, as they get into their career, they're gonna realize how important it is to know your personnel that you're playing against and every edge and then watch games at night. Elite Pass is available for everybody, and it's fun watching games. You can watch, you can watch six, seven hours uh, a night of basketball, and that's what you should do. Tim, hey Scott, um, please don't yell at me for jumping two days ahead. But th there's a football game in Tampa on Sunday, and. You guys play Sunday afternoon, then I think you go to Chicago right after that. Is Are you at all conflicted by the likelihood that you guys are going to have to miss that game? Yeah, I think I think we're going to be able to catch them, uh, maybe half of it. I know our game's at 1. I think the, I don't know what time the exact start time, 6 o'clock or so. 30 or something like that. Yeah, yeah so we're going to make sure it doesn't go into overtime. But, yeah, we're, we're going to definitely uh, – Miss some of it, but yeah, it's it's that's part of it. Uh, that's secondary. I love watching it. I love being a part. But this year is obviously different. It's not like we're going to have a, a Super Bowl party. Uh, but I, I, I definitely like that atmosphere year to year. And a lot of times, if you do have it on the road, you can have it have a big team activity and, and enjoy the game together. But this is obviously different, and we have a game, but. And most years, it's a fun time of the year. Most most NBA players and coaches are big football fans, and there's a lot of trash talking, a lot of favorite teams, and and it's a it's a fun time of the year. But I'm looking forward to watching the game as much as I can. If you do a squares pool, good luck. Right. Thank you. Ava. Hey Scott, uh, you mentioned uh, just the Brad All Star vote there. I'm wondering what your opinions are, thoughts are in general on the league uh, deciding to go forward with the game this year. We've obviously heard some opinions now from other players, but uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you know, um, I saw the Le LeBron's um, thoughts on it. I, I, I mean, I agree. I'm upset. I, I love South. Um, um, I love Atlanta, but I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I've been to two All-Star games. I know we're I'm close in the in the games one and to be an All-Star coach, and I don't want to go. I'm, I agree with him. I was planning on using that time to be with my family. I won't vote for you, Scott. Right. Um, otherwise, <laughs> I, I, I think. I mean, I, it's everybody has to. I mean, there's, this is the way, this is, it's a unique year and we all have to chip in. We all have to help out. And a lot of times 
I definitely know how much of the, the star players are, they're pulled in every direction, the all-star players in every direction during that event. So I know we have to do it at league to be really cognizant of all the, all the, the wear and tear and all the, the situations that the players have gone through. It's been a very difficult year for players and families and coaches and owners and everybody, but we all have to help out and chip out. So, I mean, we have to do whatever it takes. And, even if we have to give them uh, some more days off on the back end. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be a challenge for especially guys like, I mean, the Lakers and, and, you know, Miami that the players that are going to go there. They, they've been, they, they had a long time in the bubble. And uh, who are your starters tonight, Scott? Um Russell, uh, and then the, the, the normal starters after that. Thank you. Chris Mello. South City Kitchen's fun. Those biscuits there are pretty good in Atlanta. And the people that travel on the road, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Put extra honey on it. Scott, you always are there. Every time I go there, I see Scott Hall there. <laughs> Chris Miller can second that too. He can ask. He can ask a follow. Uh, he visit. Hey, hey, amen to that. Uh, Scotty, how do you bottle up really that second half defensively in the last game against Miami? And what were kind of some of the biggest takeaways of that in terms of your film study? Well, we competed. Um, we switched things up on on man and zone, but I, I, you know, a lot of things happened our way. They missed some shots. Uh, but we also made them miss, and that's always good. And I thought we competed. We got we got our roster. A couple of guys are still out, but we got some you know some practices and some games, and that's what we need. I keep saying that, and I, I'm not just saying that because I know we have a lot of games coming up. We need that. We need to get our NBA legs under us, and we need to get some games. And I thought we competed. You know, things didn't go well in the end of that first half, but we came out and. and and held a very good team to a low low scoring average in that second half. The last two games you guys have come back from 18 and 13. Are you guys the cardiac wizards or do you need to see more of these comebacks before you get uh, – what, 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 what's your heart looking like after these games? Yeah, not good. I don't like it. I, I, we, need to, we need to keep it close or go on the other side and let somebody else try to come from, play from behind. We have to have a better start. You know, Russell's playing tonight. I think that can help us. Uh, but we definitely, we definitely need a better start. But it's definitely, it's going to be a tough game. We know that. When you play Miami, you got to bring your hard hat and you got to be able to compete. You got to do it for 48 minutes. Uh, and, and we feel like we're the same way. We want to keep, we want to keep building our team the way uh, that you have to play hard every night to, to, to beat us. And we're not just going to give up and give into the game. Thanks, hey, Scotty. They said the chicken wings in Atlanta are good too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fred. Lemon pepper. Let's keep it PG. Uh, Scotty, what's what's going on with uh, with Neto? Where's he at right now? Neto is um, in the training room getting worked on. Is he playing? Uh, no, not tonight. He's getting better, though. He had a good workout yesterday. He had a really good workout two days ago. Yesterday was a little lighter. Um, see how he feels tomorrow um, in some of our optional work. And then a uh, possibility Sunday. It'd be nice to get them back, but like I said, no rush. Um, we just have to, you know, wait till he's ready to go. But uh, he's getting really close, so I would, I would not be surprised if he if he's able to play uh, Sunday. I, I hope that he can. But if he's he's definitely trending in the right direction. Eric. Thank you. Hey, Scott, uh, the third time we see your team and the first time we get to see Russell. So I, what I wanted to ask you is, I know it's only been 12 games, but what has his impact overall been when he has played for you? Well, he's, he's definitely his leadership and his just the way he helps the younger players is helping. It's, I know it hasn't paid dividends with our record, but long term, uh, as even like in this long term for an NBA season, it's going to help us. It's going to help us down the road. He just uh, just a couple of days ago, he got on the guys how we need to watch film uh, individually. You got to go home and watch film and 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 watch the game that we just played. You can watch it with your coaches, but you still should be able to watch it. You know when you're home. 
his leadership has been huge. And, and I know we haven't won uh, the games, but I think, you know, we're definitely trending in the right direction, getting our team back. And he's going to be a big part of a lot of wins going forward. But his the toughness, his determination, and he was banged up. Yeah. And I've uh, been with him for a while now. He doesn't like to use an excuse, but he was banged up, got, got it right, um, set out for a couple of weeks. But his, the last four games is back to being – attack Russell that we need. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, Eric. John. Hey, Scotty. Just following up on that second half defense that you guys really kind of threw off the heat. Looked like you really went to the zone. You played more zone. Is that something that you guys practice and go to, or is it just a sort of a, a decision at the moment that you, you made at that point? Yeah, we, we put it in uh, three or four weeks ago, and then we put a little bit of a full, full court uh, two, two, one, but it's, it's something that we haven't had a lot of practice time, you know, of what happened. And then we had eight guys for three or four practice. So you couldn't put a lot of stuff in. So everything's just been on film and on the fly, uh, up until the last couple of days of practice. So it definitely helped. I mean, I'm sure they're going to be prepared for it, but we, we still have to compete the bottom line, whether you're playing man on zone, you got to end up the moment of truth is contesting a shot and boxing out and getting the rebound after they miss. And if you don't do that, uh, you're going to be taking it out of the net, regardless of if you're playing man or zone. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Neil. Scott, just two months ago, you guys had opened training camp and everybody was talking about, you know, everybody's super hardworking, diligent, things like that. Now you're kind of questioning some of off, work, off the court homework and things like that. Are you surprised by that? No, I mean, I, I'm not really, I don't know if it came across that I'm questioning. I'm just saying they, they need to do more of it. It's, uh, we, we, we have it for them and we do it as coaches, but a lot of times when you go home, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on for, in all of our lives, but we got to understand that that's our priority. On the court, practice, when they're in the gym, I have no, nothing but praise for everybody. But it's the only thing is they, they have to do those things. And those are the edge. And younger players, that's probably the next step because they're so used to they're so used to being dominant physically. Every every level, they've probably more than likely all of them been the best player at every level. But when you get to the to the NBA, it's a level field and the only and the only the, the, the tough mentally are the ones that survive. And you know, we've got a couple of really high level, mentally tough players like Brad. Brad is, is as mentally tough as they come. He knew, you know, last, last year that we were going to be in a different position that we were in my first couple of years with what the, the roster changeover, but he understood that and he knew that it was going to be some tough nights where teams are going to be throwing everything at him. And he's able to handle that. And Russell is obviously as, as mental, as tough as anybody, but our players, that's the next step for all young players is to understand that all your buddies and all your things that you do after you leave the practice site, it's still secondary. This is our job and we got to focus on it. And some are better than others. And we have to continue to help our players understand that, that being a professional, you got to be able to have that edge mentally is just as much as you have it uh, physical. Is that it? Quinn Mayo. Hey, coach, is there something Chris that you Miller, can you get one more? Coach, is there something that you can pinpoint um, maybe on the defensive side of the ball that allows you guys to go down by 18, 19, and even 20 points so often and early in these games? Yeah, I mean, that's a, it seems like it when it rains and pours, we give up a, a bang, 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 three threes in a row. Uh, it, could be, it could be late contesting. It could be overhelping. It's just a lot of things that it just takes time. I, you watch a lot of games, and I don't use youth as an excuse, but there is experience helps. And you and we, when we have, sometimes we have a lot of younger players out there that's going to have to go through the growing pains of learning how to how to see those things quick. Because if you're late in this league with all the great shooters on the floor, it could be bang, bang, bang threes. And I think a lot of times that is the case, but hopefully as this season goes on and, and we're going to continue to improve and you're going to see uh, 
less and less of those, you know, two or three minutes where it goes from being down, you know, five to 15 in, in two minutes. And those are a lot of times like a couple of games ago, it happened in three minutes in the first half. Uh, or they were happening in the first quarter, you know, against, uh, what was it, Portland. But it's just part of it. We got to, we got to fight through it and, and get better with it. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome, Clinton. All right, that's it. Thanks, Coach. I'll see you guys.